welcome to another video of Hitman. I hope you like my previous video. If you like it, subscribe my channel and give your thumbs up. I really appreciate your support throughout the years. I really appreciate if you like the videos, give your advice. Let's start where we left from. has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone will need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next, crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past, your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeier stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next put on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold. And so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare.
Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowoon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowoon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. Guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military, is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like a way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox, 47.
Mr. Mendez. Good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Hello, sir. Welcome. Mr. Mendez? Nice right this way, sir. Like that, my first run. Dream on, pal. Oh, uh, hello? HR? Yes, it's Finn Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. Uh, listen, I realize this may sound trivial, but the Fountain View soda dispenser has been on the fritz since we moved in. I can't work without my energy drinks, and I have been forced to bring my own. Well, yes, that's right. They fixed it today, but... And here's the problem. Mr. Knox and his entourage of gun-wielding bodyguards managed to empty the machine in one hour. I was thrilled to receive the email. It's right in here, Mr. Mendez. How are you today? Ah, Ted. Good to finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics, seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Target acquired, WB. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table nice day for it, and isn't scan it? it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead. Make my day. Just think how much more we can accomplish together. My brains, your money. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Mm. I don't know. Target acquired. Maybe I'm old fashioned. A. I still. You're part of an old institution and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at autonomous synthetic systems will entirely remove human agents from direct direct engagement. I guarantee this thing will absolutely murder it. Anything you put it up against. Sounds... Promising. So, Mr. Mendez, impressive so far, yeah? Target Let me quickly acquired. show you Don't our on-site robotics. <laughs> Small, but state-of-the-art. And it's fully mobile, so right you can that way, sir. anywhere. 
Hey, get out of my face, now! So, hey, as part of the deal, Kronstadt will throw in one deployment cell per five units. Outfitted to enable on-site adjustments and calibrations, it'll be shipped in a bulletproof shell and can be dropped hey. anywhere on the planet using the Kronstadt T-37 deployment drones. So if you have any questions or want to see anything again, just let me or McKinnis know. I'll let you hang out and look at everything for yourself. Hey, don't be a stranger, Ted. Stay put. I'll look into it. Sure thing. No worries. Beautiful. Still some of my finest work. Testimonies of several captured Zaydan loyalists, who all maintain that the deceased general acted alone in his attempt to overthrow... If you see anything weird, report to us immediately. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47? Hmm. What are you thinking? How are you today, sir? Definitely need to show off the sensors. With a wide range of targeting capabilities from infrared vision to DNA sampling. Hmm, yeah, maybe the guy's sick or something. Shame. I was really looking forward to a bite. Putting a new face on war. No. World change. Pivotal moment in modern conflict solution. Imagine infiltrating the deepest sanctuary of your enemy and striking a fatal blow only unseen. has been prepared and awaits delivery. Good, good. Loyalty has its merits, Antoine, but one cannot express loyalty from the grave. What Kronstadt is working on is too important to risk in some high-stakes chess game. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep you informed of any progress. Looking good, man. Looking good. Whoa. Ah, Mr. Knox. The metrics from the suit are coming hmm. through 100% impact. Uh, what's up, Doc? Some smaller fiber optics for this to be in Okay, 62 uranium core chip. Monitoring vitals with reduced heating. 
exhibiting any discomfort beyond the expected range at this point. Long-term effects of the increased radiation leakage are unknown. Palace represents the next level of... Seems like they got the message. Can't have everyone poking around my car. A lot of education to wear that coat, huh? So, I'm hearing rumors on the corporate grapevine. Apparently, Knox wants to do a large-scale field test. Of Palace in a few months. <laughs> that sounds like one of those entirely unfounded rumors that gets spread around down at the local bar after work. A palace isn't in a state to be field tested on any scale. Well, Lyle from outsourcing told me there'd been a request to reach out to Jin Po. The reply back had been with us. Can you That's explain insane. the string theory to me? If that's Thanks. true. After the, the Tongan Valley Massacre. Jin Po's lax with his English. Surely he must have opened for business by now. Oh, no. Still nothing. Let's run a quick verbal diagnostic test here, Palace. Are you functional? Running eternal diag. All right, you guys seem to be on top of everything here. I'll What's see you up, later. Doc? Mr. Knox, pleasure to see you, sir. Mr. Knox, great to have you with us today. Play any sports in your life? <laughs> Probably not. So, Antoine, did you talk to that Reynard woman? Everything is going according to plan, Mr. Knox. The package has been prepared and awaits delivery. Good. Good. Loyalty has its merits, Antoine, but one cannot express loyalty from the grave. What Kronstadt is working on is too important to risk in some high-stakes chess game. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep you informed of any progress.
We are good. Nothing out of the ordinary. of targeting capabilities from infrared vision to DNA sampling palace is infallible extremely advanced facial recognition systems capable of complex skin texture analysis and ultrasonic 3d information capture ensure the right targets are taken down every time maybe that's too much detail at this stage Robert knocks down, now for the heir to the Kronstadt Empire. A lot of education to wear that coat, huh? This is Antoine Max, the eighth robot. Just met a couple of ex cicada buddies. Well, apparently there's this splinter group of nut jobs running around killing off CEOs all over the world. My agent told me quests for security. Getting. Oh man. Thank you, Paladin. Give me a rundown of your cognitive process at the. This minute. How are you feeling? I had a dream just before. I think it was a dream. What the? A man came to me. He was like. a different. Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I've just got to pick up the documents from my van, but... Uh... Uh, 
um, I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit, and now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know it's dumb. I think I lost him in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got no evidence. Buy, buy money. I don't know. I, I, I need to figure something out. Talk soon. A disgruntled Kronstadt employee has acquired some dirt on Sierra Knox and intends on blackmailing her. Disguised as one of the racing mascots, he plans to meet Sierra by the old motel. Well, I always did feel that pink was your color, 47. Jumped me. He stole my mascot outfit. Who, who would do that? Hey, yo, did you find some keys over there? You're a real lifesaver. Thank you. How you been? Let's get this over with. Oh, what? I'm sure it put them here. I must have fallen down here. No. What the hell? No way, man. The documents are gone. How are they gone? Well, that's it then. You big idiot. I can't believe it. God, he's gonna kill me. The race is entering its final lap, 47.
47, the race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. Salutations, my friend. Really brings out your eyes. Miss Knox informed me you'd be here. She asked to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers right here. Excellent. Come on in. Have a seat or something. I'll let Miss Knox know you're here. So far, so good, 47. Now, let's see where this meeting is headed. Yes, Miss Knox. There's a guy here wearing a mascot outfit claiming you have an appointment with him. I won't give his name. Got it. I'll let him know you're on route. Hey, Flamingo guy. Miss Knox is on her way. Grab a seat somewhere. She'll be here as soon as she can. So, it's a great outfit. Thinking it must get pretty warm in there, though. It's insulated. Huh. Imagine that. I guess it would have to be if you're supposed to wear it for hours and hours every day. Do you, you know, get to use it at home? For parties and things like that, I mean. No. Right, right. I, uh, I have a friend who's into that sort of thing. Cosplay, assuming imaginary identities. He says it's very liberating. It takes him out of the stress of everyday life and work, you know? Not really. Yeah, I guess it's different when you do it for a living. How's the pay? Sufficient. Nice. Okay, good talk. Bingo. I'm telling you, Miss Knox is going to be pissed. I did the pre rate check. So, Mr. Hmm. I never did catch your name. Names are for friends. Very well. Straight to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? Don't worry. What am I going to do? Kill you in broad daylight. I just want a bit of privacy here. Not about to do sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Good idea. So just to get this straight, you claimed in your email to have somehow found internal reports that show Kronstadt's involvement in the Tungan Valley Massacre. Sounds about right. Let's be clear. You and I are having this meeting because my father doesn't need to know about this. It's just another undesired distraction. I don't care if the information is true or false. I don't care if it mentions moving money from the Nexus Project into Tungan Valley Damage Control, as you claimed in your correspondence. I do care about protecting my father, which is why you and I are now here. I see. Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Uh, if you need us, just call. We're right around the corner. So here's the deal. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. One, you will leave this place and this country for good, and that will be the end of it. Everyone lives happily ever after. Two, you don't choose option one. Someone dies, right here, right now. Which do you- what? Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Yeah, that's right, Birdman. Nobody messes with Kronstadt. You're lucky you're not extinct.
Let's hear it for our champion, and let's get the party started! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maxwell Rudder. Race official here at the Miami Global Innovation Race. The race is now officially over, and it's time to hand out the trophy to the winner. This year's winner proved that hard work, dedicated focus on quality, wins over the flair of provocation. Octane booster, huh? What is that stuff anyway? With all little technological execution and persistent Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, 
this, hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the militia strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision-makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. <laughs> 